this video is going to show you two sides of the story and how you define your own race with your own mindset this guy that we're going to see a bit later on he started with good intentions so it seems uh he's at the back of the grid and he's ended up getting caught in skirmishes <sighs> i wanted to look through to try to defend him you kind of can but you can see when it goes downhill and he takes it all the wrong way before we go all doom and gloom i need to give props to mr brown in the nissan by the way i said that he came through and picked me in this race unfortunately guys i haven't got the full replay to show you the little battle we had at the end but I'm going to give him his five minutes of fame because he deserves it. Uh, he got off to a really bad start because of me. My fault. Me sounding all jumped up in the last video, making out like I know it all. That's not. Full disclosure, warts and all. Bit of self-deprecation. I caused him to be at the back of the grid. I cooked my brake here, brakes here on the outlap. And uh, going into T1, I just outbreak myself. And unfortunately for him, he lined up behind me and followed me. You can see here, I'm worried about this guy on the inside. I've completely outbreak myself, and he's followed me, unfortunately. But he did well. He goes around the wall instead of like me, I'm going to do a complete UE and come back. And then this is where he was quite unfortunate. A little tap. And another one. But look how he deals with it. The correct way. Didn't try to force his way back on track. Waited for everybody to pass. Took a deep breath. Now he's at the back. But full props to him doesn't lose his mind takes it calm it's only a 20 minute sprint race but he, fair play he comes back um, what did I get up to? I got up to third and he took that off me so he's gone from the back of the grid to third to then start second in the second race took me on the second lap pulled my pants down exemplary performance especially after the start that he's had this video is more about the second half, but I just wanted to give Mr. Brown his props, uh, clear some things up, show not everybody is infallible. I might have sounded to some of you thinking in the last video. If you haven't watched the last video, you need to really. I'll put the link in the description. Go back and watch the first one. I wanted to show how your mindset can determine your outcome. He's had probably the worst start you can think of. A, he's followed me down at T1. And then he's got spun round. It looked more like somebody had just... They were battling behind him and he got caught up in it. Doesn't lose his rag. He doesn't take anybody out. And he just comes through the pack. I skipped through to a couple of his overtakes just so you can see, see his patience. Right, here we go. There's... Uh, the main villain of this story. I won't say too much more. Just let him... Uh... Well, you'll see it in a second. But like I said in the first video, if you're going to defend this position, you need to be out early. And that guy wasn't. So through he goes. But look, he wants seconds. He doesn't want to give up that position. A fair play to this guy that we're on board with. He's seen it come in. He took his time. He eased off. And, he and again, you know, uh, that could have been a Boatley thing in the Bentley. He uh, could have understeered through that corner. But it looks to me like he's already, you know, he's already starting to lose his composure from his start. But we'll talk about him in a minute. This is more about Mr. Brown with his... Uh, 
masterful racecraft and etiquette. So here we are, he's coming up on the Porsche, he's gone deep. Oh, there's another one off. Again, he's given space here. Left room. Well done. Half a lap later, he's come up on the Aston Martin. See, now he eased off early before the breaking zone. It's another good lesson for anybody. You want to take it easy and you don't want to take people out. Just lift a couple of car lengths before the corner and downshift early. It gives you the engine braking. So if their braking spots confuse you, catch you off, you've got that time to react. Instead of being all up somebody's ass, they've braked earlier than you expected or that you can and both you go. Off you go. It was a little gem when I went through this replay after what I was talking about in the last one to have two completely different attitudes on track at the same time both having similar bad starts not entirely well this guy's definitely not his fault the other guy wasn't entirely his fault but you'll see in a minute then back again same again he's gone early now this is key going early tell give them the, the sign that you're going for the lunge. People that want to jump out from behind you last minute after you've already started breaking or turning in. It's a recipe for disaster. If you intend on overtaking somebody, get out there early. And then if they want to defend you and fight you for the challenge, then they've got the opportunity to come inside and say to you, oh, no, 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 mister. Instead of you both ending jumping up on the brakes, asking too much of your front axle, Understeer, lockups, ta da. Oh, there's another one gone. Right, here we are again. Two laps in now, he's caught up to the Merc. He's gone early again, see? He's playing mind games and it's worked a bit. The Merc's gone deep. Bit of a mind punt there. Patient. Wide entry. Nothing is living with this GDR. The BOP updates on this car. This league, this GHR Tuesday league, runs the BOP. And since the update on the game, and now with the BOP, this GTR is something to think about. So he's staying in the 36s every lap. Patience you have to have on that corner. Oh, he's got a bit tight here, so he's not going to have... Oh, he is still going to have the run. Yes, this GTR is definitely back. See, now the Ferrari looked like he was going early. He's trying to get rid of the slipstream, but it doesn't matter. This Nissan's got him. And it stops as well. The Ferrari's gone too deep. Wants to come back. Look at this now. Gives him the room, even though the Ferrari couldn't make the corner. He gave him the room anyway. And then, was that a lunge by the Ferrari? Did he attempt a murder there? We'll never know. What position are we in? We're in fifth. There's me up in front, falling asleep, thinking I've done my dues. Just stroking it off to the end of the race. Where's this guy? He's nailing every apex, every breaking zone. He's coming for me. And it was my fault he ended up where he was. Unfortunately, I didn't have the replay all the way to the end. I don't know, it's just... Xbox does what Xbox does, isn't it? Or this game, whichever. Thank somebody for it. But there you go, just to give the guy his props. He's done well there. Terrible start. My fault. Then he's got tapped. He's not rejoined and caused more grief. And he's taken his time, picked people off, sniped me, all the way back to third. Bravo, sir. Where's the Audi gone? He's giving him room, look. He disappeared out of all the mirrors. Obviously, in-game, you have the radar. He knew where he was. Now he's got his sight set on me. Absolutely tamping. I didn't have the replay. Never mind. 
Let me just check one thing. Anybody else notice what I noticed with the pedal inputs there? Look at mine. Throttle, I'm getting 100%. Let me go back and listen to ground. God damn it. Sorry guys, noob. Look at this pedal input. He's not getting 100% throttle. Is this a bug in the replay or is it me? I don't know. Anyway. Right then, here we are with our main protagonist, the villain of the story. He is qualified, what, the last book two? So he's at the back. Now, there's a few things to show where you are the problem and not the people around. To start with, he's picked the Boatley, the Bentley. Not a great choice for this track. Also, I don't drive a Bentley a lot, but ABS 6 out of 11, you can see down in the right hand corner there on his inputs. Now that's going to extend your brake in. The car is a bit of a boat anyway. And these two key facts are really the main reasons that things have gone downhill for him. So this is his first race with us in this league. Uh, you'll see by some of his comments later on that he's experienced. And there are patches along this where you can see that he's got the ability. But the mindset is completely wrong. Guys, if you're going to come in and join a league, especially halfway through the season, or championship, you've got to mind your P's and Q's. You can't just dive in here like it's a public lobby and, well, do this. But like I said, I wanted to defend him. I looked through, and he's not 100% at fault. Not at all. But it's the attitude and the way that he's taken his bumps. Right, I'll stop waffling. Let's get a start going. And there's villain number two by the side of him in the McLaren. Now, I don't know if these pair have had something happen in qualifying, but this definitely makes me think that they had previous. Watch this. All looks pretty good. Do you see the way that the McLaren just straight lined? Didn't even attempt to take the corner. So there we go. Knock number one to the ego. Mr. Bentley, Mr. Sullivan. He's already thinking, uh, these bunch of knobs. This year I should have pointed out that the white McLaren is the biggest is. dick on track, but we're not going to pay him any attention because he doesn't deserve it. So now, all good intentions are on the back burner for a bit now. He's in 13th position. He's carrying damage. I can't see how much. The guy in his head that's caused this is out in front. And it's a bit of a shame because he shows his ability by knuckling down and I'm thinking it's just because he wants revenge on this guy. I might be wrong, it's early yet. But he, he, he does quite well here. And is it just because he wants to retaliate or does he want to do well in the race? With the pedal inputs, I'd be putting the TC on 6 or the ABS on 4, but whatever. There he is, look. Target locked. Oh, he's not quite far enough along. Like I said, he knuckles down here. 
and I'm a bit dubious as to his intentions. I could be wrong. Quite often am. <laughs> and there it goes. His opportunity for revenge is gone. So we'll never know what his intentions was. But if you stick with us. Oh, here we go. Look, Mr. Brown. From our earlier part of the video, he's coming through now. Like I said, it's completely... Well, it's just amazing that both of these different storylines are happening on the same track, on the same race, at the same time. And it's all just down to how you deal with these bumps, these knocks. Nobody's infallible. Oh, Christ. Do I get frustrated? Don't I, Jeff? But you just can't. There's no point. You might as well just park in the pits. Give it up. We're all here just to have a bit of fun. Watch this bloody GTR. He's giving him room there, look. But, nope. Mr. Brown seen it coming. Now, but yeah, look at the inputs. Does he understeer or is this a lunge? I don't know. Definitely missed his break-in. Is that the Boatley? Was he trying to be naughty? Uh, it's difficult to tell. But look, he's cooked the tyres. And now, the mind is just spiralling now. In his head, he's been spun, been hit wasn't his fault now getting overtaken tyres are cooked it's just going downhill fast right then we're back lap later and line issue cooked tyres boatly I don't know but it's all falling apart and look who's just gone past hmm Maybe the retaliation is still going to happen. Nope. Denied. Here we are. I don't want to be all doom and gloom for Mr. Sullivan. He's having a go here. Yeah? We've only skipped on half a lap. Ah, the boat lee. I don't know. Is it choices that have caused this? I'm not sure the ABS but that might be correct for this car I don't drive it enough but just selecting the Bentley I don't know it works but maybe not for Indianapolis so what's he doing there he's in the 39s so he's realistically three seconds a lap off pace to be competitive and is that skill or is that the mindset. Anyway, let's skip forward a bit more. Here we go. Yeah, it's not going around that corner at all, is it? Oh, now he's got marbles. Right, are we going to hit this breaking zone? Right, he's checked the anchor out and he's managed to get it on the apex. And he's wide on that one. We'll skip again. How about this one? Are we going to pull it up in time for this one? Yeah. Tidy. This is what I mean. He's showing signs. He's he's having a go. Oh, right, so he's done well. Two or three laps. He's in apexes. He's composed himself. He's calmed down. If only he could have continued with that frame of mind. Jump through now, coming up to the end of lap nine. And it's three, four laps on the bounce. He's cleaned it all up. He's doing well. He's on the up and up. But something's happened. In his head, he's had enough, and he's back to the pits. Look at there now, though. 
like I was on about decision making. He's gone into Bentley. Maybe the set at issue. I'm not too sure about the throttle. Yeah, look. He's not... I don't know if this is a bug. He's not hitting... Yeah, look, he's not hitting 100% throttle. But the other car was showing that as well. But then on mine, I, I was fine. So we could have something going on with his pedals. Yeah. So that is round one. Race one. Over with. He's had enough. He's gone back to the pits. Then here we are. Race two. He's lined up at the back again. Look who's by the side of him. We're green. Race two. He's calmed down. He wants to have a go. Make amends. McLaren's gone deep. He's pulled the boat up. Three abreast. Somebody spun. Four abreast. He's had a bump. So straight away again. T1. He's had a bump. Cut the grass. We're off. Not too bad. So we start off okay. Ish. We've seen the previous race. He's calmed down. Oh, we got somebody off there. Oh. What can you say? If you're going to rejoin, guys, don't do it like that. All right, here we go. The Audi's had a better run. He's kind of thinking about defending. He has defended. He's going to force him wide. Yeah, well, he can break much late there. It's just those basic choices. Car set the, and then the downfall of the mindset. Here we go. Ooh, he's gone late again. So, you know, it's these little things chipping away at the ego. Right, this is the main one I wanted to see. The Mercedes. Let's have a little look at this now. So that's a, a bit of a prequel to what's to come. The Bentley is just it's coming to a stop so badly. It's catching others out. And you'll see what I mean. Right, watch this now. Because the Bentley is slowing down so badly, it catches this guy in the Mercedes out. He's had to brake so much earlier. And then... Now, the guy in the Bentley there is probably thinking that he's just got taken out by the Mercedes. But in reality... It's his early braking that's caught out the Mercedes, which isn't this guy's fault. It is, if you're following, it's your responsibility not to make contact. But, the Boatley is stopping so badly, it is just catching everybody out. So, he's now driving along, thinking, that trash just taken me out, and his blood is boiling. They're going side by side here. See, he leaves room. Nasty Martin's coming back at him. First gear on that corner. This Bentley is just understeer city. Look at it. It would seem that seven laps was enough for these tyres. Now the mentality is going to spiral. I think, guys, now we're coming up to the main course. You're baying for blood. It's the reason you clicked the thumbnail. 
Ooh, look. Villain number two. Blown past him. And again. Understeer. Brakes. Tires. Now the Mercedes are all over him. I'm not just going to dunk on people. I've got to give him his props. This thing is a beast. Struggling with it. Right, Mercedes has got the run here. Let's see how we deal with this. He's gone early, he's defended. Mercedes by the side of him. They both survived. And there you are. That there is the issue but not for this lap teasing you guys i'm teasing you this is good it's clean racing he's seen him come and he gave him room he's got the inside they've had a good battle it's just a shame that his tires are dead and the boat me is the boat way i let it play all the way from you now I'm not going to skip it. <laughs> See, it's just key decisions before you've even got on track that has caused this to happen. He's still not at 100% on that throttle. But I don't know if that's a bug, a video bug. He's picked the boat, Lee. He's got a high ABS, which is going to extend your braking distance. Causing these overshoots. And that was a hell of a lunge by the Merc. We're bumping. So yeah, Mr. Bentley, I can understand the blood is boiling now. It's the last lap. And we've got another hanger on coming in behind. Hoping to pick up. There it is. Now he's angry. Do you see it? Did you see it? Let's have a look. That little snap. Back in stepped out. He's lost traction. Which has brought the Ferrari into it. Oh, the Audi, sorry. Watch from you. It's a racing incident. Unfortunate, but it doesn't warrant. Come on, guys. You've guessed it. He's cooked. Completely cooked it. What a dickhead. And that's it. Don't do it. Just don't do it, guys. There's no need. And these types of things will follow you, which I'll show you. And this was his attitude in the Discord chat after the race. He then tried to join a different league. Like I said, these kind of things follow you around.